a cardboard box and some painted blue Build a magic world where your dreams come true Once you step inside, nothing you can't do Let imagination run away with you Come along with Julius Jr. You step inside the box and see <laughs> And in case you were wondering, that is not wine, that is grape juice. I chose the appropriate beverage for my 12 year old self. Anyways, today's episode will be about... I'm sure you read the title card already. Love! We're gonna read a love story passed down through many generations by straight whips. Uh, Pichu, the story wasn't really passed down for generations. You made that story up just for this episode. But that's real, you lunatic! With all that out of the way, let me read you this legendary love tale. I dream of Yakker. Once upon a time, yeah, yeah, you was coming over his phrase. There was a sire. Beautiful, rightful, righteous friend, Princess Wisp. Uh, Pichu? Are you sure that's entirely accurate? Yes, you like to play, have fun, and shake your frickin' rump. Pichu, that fight is not appropriate for a teenage show. I don't care if it's inappropriate, so shut up! Okay, I guess I'll consider it accurate. Anyways, what Pichu said was pretty accurate, but mostly I like to have fun. Oh, it's one of my best friends, Brown Wisp. Hello, Brownie. What you thinking about? Oh, I have a crush on someone. But who's your crush exactly? <gasps> Such a handsome knight with a courageous and benevolent personality. Wow, that's so romantic. By the way, are you wishing to see one? Yes, I am! Wow, I want to try too! Ooh, all out of money? Well, I guess I can't make a wish then. Aha! I wish for a handsome knight. Well, I'm okay. It's actually great down there. Just snails, coins, water, and crap. Thanks for throwing me in. Hello? And so go and search far and wide. Looking for the perfect night. The name's Sir Yakalon. Oh, such a beautiful name! Can I be your boyfriend? Sure, why not? Hm, it's not fair! I want to be with a knight too! <laughs> the tulips have since become a wonderful couple. Their romantic relationship was inseparable, and nothing could break up the two until one unfortunate day. Sweet! I got three Soul Kings, two Epidips, and one Hatchum. Hey, that! Well, I, uh... What's the matter, Sir Yakala? I... I didn't want to be with you anyway! What? I thought we were a good couple! The thing is, I wasn't even planning on having a girlfriend. I was planning on doing stuff my lord ordered me to do. So was this relationship all a lie? I can't believe you betrayed me! <laughs> <laughs> 
so I guess I win. I haven't heard of Gekko in four weeks. Was this relationship really a fraud? Did Gekko really puncture his way out of our relationship? What's he lying to me all along? That's it! I'm gonna fire him! So she assembled a search party to find Sir Yakalon. We won't give up until we find him! They dangerously check the swamplands, gardens, even the beaches and mountains. Case close! Keep going, Sir Chicken Knight! What the hell is this place? Stay right here, Chicken Knight. I'll investigate myself. Sir Yakala, I found you! Yakala, what are you doing here? What even is this place? It's called Crack Up Cavern. I ended up here where you thought I betrayed you. It's because I did want a girlfriend anyway. So you sacrifice our relationship for your duties! That's toxic! that not all knights including me have girlfriends. So just because a knight regrets his relationship in favor of his duties, doesn't mean they're actually trying to betray you. He also didn't want a girlfriend because he was busy. Okay, I get it now. Let's go, Yakalot. This place is just as fictional as the silly childhood wonderlands. You're way better than this. What do you say? I'm sorry! <laughs> Finally, the couple got married. And they both lived happily ever after. Now, as well as how the story ended for the couple, this is also a CAUTIONARY TALE! It doesn't always go this way for some people. It's important to remember not to fall in love with people with too much time on their hands. Uh, people can fall in love in whoever they want. God, I'm an idiot.